Hi everybody, welcome back, pause up. So today I'm gonna to be bringing um, a little information to you about um, a bug out bag for a dog, or it could just be like an emergency bag. Some people know them as an emergency bag. And we'll just put, assemble all the uh, essential items in there and go through why we would need each one and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is a good sturdy either backpack or a, um, a duffel bag. We always make sure that we have one um, put together for our dog. One thing I'd like to point out is that we, I'm assembling here today as an example for you for one dog. It may be a little excessive for one dog, but if you're, if you're a household that has multiple dogs, there's gonna be certain things that you're gonna want in repetition, and I'll make sure to point those out, okay? so. First is we have our bag to keep in there, um, and you can keep it in your car. During the summertime, we do keep it with in the vehicle that we're in, because we do end up out in the desert or up in the mountains, and on that off chance something could happen, we make sure we have it with us. But the one main thing key of important is you're gonna wanna get, and you can get these, not this particular book, I got this a real long time ago. Um, it's just a first aid, first aid book for pets. You can probably find any of the, something similar to this at uh, one of your local bookstores. This will help you for a whole array of emergency issues. So it's always good to have one of those. That accompanied with a good first aid kit. And we'll go through um, another video, total outlining everything you would need in um, a good first aid kit to make sure you're well prepared. One of your next key things is you wanna make sure you have control of your dog. If it is an emergency situation where you're having to evacuate, you might have to leave so fast that you're not even able to get that collar on your dog. So one good thing to always have is an extra collar in that bag, or um, this is a groomer's noose, and it's just it's basically like a cloth choke collar and we can show you in depth on how to use that, how to make sure it's looped through the right way. And then always have some extra rope. I just grab um, some of that paracord, that's what it is. Grab some of the paracord, a nice small segment of it, and keep that, it can use as a leash, you can use it um, if you're in a location where you had to tether the dog, the dog can only go in a certain area, and you had to tether him, that would, be a good backup. So make sure you have all of those. So another good thing to have that's really important is food. Um, I know I usually make the homemade dog food for them, for my dogs, but I always have some kibble as a just in case. In here I have 12 one and a quarter cup meals um, for barrel. And that's why, this way at least it would give us a little over a week, almost two weeks, in case it was a big serious emergency where we had to like really leave the area for any length of time. Even more importantly than the uh, food is water for them. Now when we go out to um, the desert or when we go out um, up in the mountains and stuff like that to recreate, I always make sure I have one of these extra just for him. Have some water bottles, you know, have at least, um, these are just little ones, but the big ones would probably be better. Um, the, the more the better with water. The dog can go a couple of days without food. The dog cannot go several days without water. They're like us, they need water, they need to remain hydrated. With the food, nice good collapsible bowl for both the food and the water. This collapses really nicely, but to keep it nice and pliable, <clears throat> since again, I'm not using it every day, I'm not looking at it every day, I wanna make sure it's useful when I do need it. And I'll just throw that in a Ziploc as well. Okay, now a couple different things. You wanna take care of their paws. So we make sure that we have something for him to protect his paws. Um, I personally like this particular type of a paw protection, a little booty, because they can still feel um, why, you know, what's underneath their paws. This is something, again, actually, that we always have with us. Beryl actually has his own little backpack. <laughs> and he'll have that on him with a backup of these, but this is just an emergency set, a full four. One for each paw. And then I always have um, some sort of a lotion or a salve for cleaning. I just have some little wipes here. And these are, these are human wipes, they're not necessarily geared for dogs, but they won't hurt them. They're very mild and um, gentle and hypoallergenic and all that other fun stuff. So uh, these 
I just put them in there for small messes, whether it's cleaning up a wound or cleaning up dirty feet before I put uh, booties on. This is an anti-itch. You never know when they're gonna need something like that. They can get stung by something while you're out. Um, that'll help them. Um, this is just actually for your contacts, for human contacts. I use one of these bottles in my pet jump bag just because it works as a great irrigator for, and it's nice little compact size and compared to some of these other big irrigation bottles that would just be uh, a saline. And then of course we have poopy bags. You don't know where you're gonna be if you end up in a, um, like a shelter type situation. If it's a really bad emergency, you know, you, you're gonna need to, be very mindful of taking care of your dog's needs <laughs> as well as the needs around everybody around you because you're going to be in dense tight quarters make sure you have poopy bags clean up after your your babies okay i always keep like an extra metal carabiner for again to use with that um that rope so here's a little whistle some of your dogs are reactive to whistles some don't even know what a whistle is and that's okay it's something different if you had to get your dog back to you in an emergency, if you like, you let go of them or whatever, call out to them, use the whistle, and lay on the ground. Eight times out of ten, it's not a fail safe, I'll say that right up front, but eight times out of ten, they're going to want to see what happened with you, and that'll be just as interesting and get their attention as the outdoors. Um, this is just an extra piece of ribbon, also to use as um, either a tether or a makeshift leash to go with that rope or something like that. Okay, so I dress my babies up. <laughs> so not only are they cute, but let's just say you're in a bad situation and your dog is all cut up on his belly or his shoulder or his back and you're able to cut a lot of the hair away and treat that area, but how are you gonna keep that area semi-clean? You can use a little shirt on them or you can even use one of your t-shirts and cover them just kind of cut a little slit in the t-shirt and do a little belly tie for them or on their back um, to keep it especially for the males <laughs> so they don't tinkle on the shirt it would make them warm in a heat situation but it'll also allow them um, a little bit of protection it'll create a barrier between their fur and this and it'll almost act as like a, a double coat a washcloth and just a little you know, these are just some towels that we don't use anymore necessarily in the house. Whatever happened to the set, you got an extra one, an old one, you know, a spare one. Keep them in there for cleaning wounds or if you had to make a makeshift bed, if you're on rough gravel, you have no idea what situation you could find yourself in. Um, it's just good to have something a little soft for them. Black garbage bags. It can act as a poncho for the dog. It can act as um, a ground barrier or it's been bad weather out and you've got really muddy um, ground and everything, that will at least give you a dry barrier to be able to bed down on as well as your dog. Basic grooming tools. For barrel, I don't really use a brush much. I use a comb. This is an old comb that I pulled out of my grooming kit and I don't ever use anymore. So I'm like, perfect, I won't miss it. I can put it into his emergency bag and I know I have something there. It's not my ideal choice, but it's something that's there. A nail cutter. This is just a little soft brush that I kind of use for his face a little bit. If you, if something was really um, bloody and got crusted into the fur, you just kind of use that to soften it up to help clean. This is mainly would be to help clean the wound in the surrounding area. And then a toothbrush. I instead of his regular hard one, just I figured it would be better to just use one of the finger ones. Um, I have just some basic th emergency things here. Um, some candles. Some. Ziploc baggies. Um, I also have um, matches that I've treated with wax, so they've been dipped in wax. It just makes them so they're water, water tight in case it is bad weather and you are trying to start a fire. If they do get wet, that match isn't ruined. And then some sticky notes with, I got a marker and a pen. I just put those little basic emergency things in there as well. Not necessarily geared just for the dog, but it's always good to have that with you as well. You're all set. You'll um, at least be safe and good for a few days um, with your pet and having his needs taken care of as well, his or hers. Um, so hope you don't ever need it, <laughs> but if you do, it, then at least hopefully I was able to help you get prepared. Hit the like and subscribe. That'll let you know when we have our newest videos released and um, we look forward to seeing you again. See you soon.